When I got an email from Longchamp that they had a new denim line collection out, I got pretty excited because I love denim and I especially love dark denim and I thought the print was so adorable and cute. So I'm going to show you if it's inside and I'm going to show you in comparison to some of my other bum bags why I love this so much. So I don't normally carry a bum bag across my chest. I normally carry it around my waist and the reason I love this is because this is not logoed in your face with any kind of massive branding. Yes, it definitely has the horse and jockey on it all over. For me, this is more a design feature than it is logo, even though this is a Longchamp logo. So it's not so heavily branded and in your face and I'll show you in comparison. So the very first bum bag I've ever gotten was this Gucci one and I normally wear this around my waist like this. I normally wear it with jeans, something a little bit less sporty than what I'm wearing now. This has a really flat profile so um, it's not bulky which I really like and it's quite easy to get in and out of because it's magnetic but obviously this is very heavily branded. And I got this probably two years ago. This is my other bum bag. And again, another heavily branded one. And I'm a little bit tired of going for the really branded ones. So I usually wear this when I go bike riding. It's a small size, but quite flat in its profile, which I really like. I don't really like this bulbous bum bags, which is why I really don't gravitate towards any of the Louis Vuitton bum bags. They're quite bulbous. Even some of the Gucci older ones, like the Marmont ones, it's like you've got this big thing sticking out of you, like a mailbox. I like how this is a little bit flatter and it kind of molds with your body, which is a lot nicer and a lot more comfortable. So this is the new Longchamp denim line and I really fell in love with it because I really like the dark wash on it and I really like how it's not like massively logoed. So I'm going to compare this really quickly against this Longchamp bag. I use this as a crossbody, although this is not a crossbody bag originally. This is actually a makeup bag which I've shown on my channel a lot. I also know a lot of people do the same thing with DIYing their makeup bags into an actual crossbody because it's just very practical. So I wanted to show you how the makeup bag compares to the actual bum bag if you do have this as a DIY. So the bum bag is definitely wider than the makeup bag. It's probably similar in its depth if I'm comparing the seams. This is the tiniest bit wider than this one. The bum bag is also much taller than the makeup bag. So that gives you kind of a good comparison. While we're here, I'll give you a really quick tour of how it looks. So this is a close-up of the bag and you'll see that it's a dark denim and you can see some of the texture. This print is not printed onto the denim. It's quite textured. So if you feel it, you'll feel the bumps along the outlines of the picture. This feels like kind of an acrylic, so almost like an acrylic paint. So I don't think it will scratch off easily unless you're like rubbing it against a brick wall or you're sitting there with a butter knife <laughs> picking it off. Um, I think with regular wear and tear, it'll last you really well actually. This is a black leather flap that the Le Pliage line normally has. It's got a silver button here, black zipper all across. It's reinforced with leather tabs here, but the actual strap is a black nylon. So it is your typical kind of seat belt kind of fabric. This is the buckle, which is your regular kind of snap buckle. This has an attached tab that keeps the excess in place so it's not flailing. And then it's got plenty of space to be adjustable to go longer if I need to. So the reason I got this was because I didn't want a branded bum bag. I'm going on a bike tour in Portugal this summer and I didn't want something that was gonna have Gucci all over it or any kind of LVs or branding or anything like that. I also wanted something that was going to be, you know, kind of hugging my body. And so a crossbody bag was not gonna do cause you know, it's just gonna flail all over the place. So this was a good solution. Also, I have to say, I really do love the Louis Vuitton denim collection. I'm always tempted whether I buy it vintage or new with the newest collection. But the price point 
is a little bit nauseating, especially for denim. So you really have to decide, is denim worth the price point for you? And for me personally, it's not. I also didn't want all the LVs kind of all over the place. And this for me is more playful and subdued, but not boring. And I really prefer the dark denim versus the lighter denim on the Louis Vuitton pieces. I totally forgot to show you what fits in the bag. I'm like, I'm forgetting something. <laughs> Okay, so let me show you what fits inside. Now this is obviously a bum bag, so it's not meant to carry everything in the kitchen sink, but to be fair, this does carry quite a bit. First of all, the zipper, very buttery, very easy to open and close. Okay, this is how everything looks inside. I have some sizable pieces in here, so it all fits very comfortably. So this is my six ring key holder. This is my full wallet. This is my sunglass case with my sunglasses in it. And this is my iPhone 13, regular size. So there's plenty of space in there. And that's it. There's also a slip pocket in the back, which has the same print as the outside, which is really cute. And it's quite a, it's a slip pocket, but it's quite wide. So you can definitely fit some papers or receipts in here. And because it's a denim, it's also very lightweight. It's very flexible. It molds your body really nicely. And it's not like one of those bulbous things that kind of just sticks out. So it's super comfortable. And I'm really glad that I got this. This is such a great little bum bag. It's not too big and it's not too small. So it's like the Goldilocks size, I have to say. And I'm 5'2", just to give you an idea of how it fits on my frame. It's very comfortable, very flexible, very lightweight. And again, just a really neutral color because it's a dark denim, it's the black. It's not gonna clash with a whole lot. You're pretty safe when it comes to just styling it with the different things. And, you know, especially that this is quite a casual bag. So I really love that. So I have to say, I really love how Longchamp came out with a denim line. I told myself I wasn't gonna get any more Longchamp, but when I saw the denim, I was just like, this is it. Like, this is really, really cute. They also have the tote in the large size. I think it might come in the medium size. I'm not entirely sure. And what caught my eye first was when I first saw the ad for Longchamp, they had had a denim jacket and denim pants and it was all in this horse and jockey print which I thought was so cute and so playful. I know it's not for everyone it's definitely a very specific look but it was really cool and playful I thought so that's what caught my eye at first and then when I saw that it had the Longchamp Le Pliage tote line in the same print and the bum bag I was like oh that's perfect. I think the ready to wear for Longchamp is not available online for North America for some reason. I've never been able to access any of their ready-to-wear on the website. So maybe you can get it in store or maybe if you're in Europe, you can get it more readily online. But so I will link this below in the description box if you wanted to check it out. I will say also the price point is really friendly relative to what it could be if it was like Louis Vuitton. So we're talking under $200 and I'll put the prices on the screen too so it's readily available. But um, I think this is really cute and this is gonna serve me well not only for my vacation but also for really just any casual occasion when you're going for a walk or running errands or whatever and so this is such a great little piece and I'm really glad I got it. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did it would really help if you hit the like button and if you're interested you can go binge watch some of my other videos and I will see you next time.